In this example, we're working with a train tunnel modeled by a quadratic function. X is the distance in feet from the center of the tracks. H of X is the height of the tunnel. So let's see how that's going to work with the questions down below. It says draw a complete diagram of the situation. So I'm going to start by drawing an axis, vertical and horizontal, and then I'm going to draw the shape of a tunnel. And then this is going to be my h of x, that's my height, and this is going to be my x. Now my function is negative 0.35x squared plus 25, so if I want to find the vertical intercept, then that's going to be when the input is 0, the output is 25. So this height right here would be 25 feet, or the ordered pair would be 0, 25. So that is my vertical intercept. If we want to find the vertex, we can start by finding the x-coordinate, which is negative b over 2a, but there is no b value, so that means this is 0. Well, when the input is 0, the output is 25, so I know the vertex is 0, 25. So the vertical intercept and the vertex are the same thing. Now to find the horizontal intercept, which is this point right here, I'm going to have to use my calculator. So let's go to y equals and enter the function negative 0.35x plus 25. So that's going to be my quadratic function. If I look at my window, I'm going to leave negative 10 to 10 because we, we want to see if we can show this shape. But my y min, I'm going to make that 0. And my, oops, that was my x scale. I don't want my scale to be 0. I want my y min to be 0. Here we go. And then my y max, I want to be, oh, let's say 30, just so we can get it above this point right here. Now let's graph. And let's see what happened here. Ah, I forgot my square on the x. That's why that looked like a linear function. So let's go over here and say insert, so second insert a square. There we go. Now let's graph. That looks a lot better. Now if I want to find this ordered pair right here, I need to intersect the quadratic function with an output of 0. So I'm going to need to go back in and put 0 for y2 and then go to second calc number 5 and I'm going to move that cursor just a little bit over to the right then hit enter three times. So that gives us an intersection of 8.45 and it doesn't tell us how many decimals so I'm going to say just two decimals 8.45 comma 0 so this gives us a really, really good image of our situation. To find the width, how wide is the base of the tunnel? Well, the tunnel goes from here to here. So all I'm going to do is take 2 times 8.45, which is 16.9 feet. So the tunnel is 16.9 feet wide. A train with a flatbed car six feet off the ground is carrying a large object that's 15 feet high, so that's 6 plus 15 equals 21 feet. Well, how high is my tunnel? That's going to be 25, so 25 minus 21, I'm going to have four feet of room between the train and the cargo and the top of the tunnel.